Lots of questions lately about superdelegates. Bernie Sanders handily won the New Hampshire popular vote in the primary for the Democrats. But Hillary Clinton still came away with more delegates in total because of these unpledged superdelegates that are broadly believed to be supporting Hillary Clinton regardless of the election's outcome. Now, we can argue over whether if Bernie Sanders continues to win primaries, those unpledged superdelegates will not come over to the Bernie Sanders side. That's a debate we can have, but let's not have it today. What I want to talk about today is that DNC chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz, 2008 campaign co-chair for Hillary Clinton, widely considered to have her finger or her hand or her entire arm or her entire body on the scales for Hillary Clinton in this primary race, was interviewed by CNN's Jake Tapper, and she was asked, what do you say to those who question the role of these superdelegates and don't like what's going on? What do you say to them? And what she said, Lewis, was so telling. She really got to the reality here. Let's take a look and listen. And in New Hampshire, the unpledged delegates are a separate category. The only thing available on the ballot in a primary and a caucus is the pledged delegates, those that are tied to the candidate that they are pledged to support, and they receive a proportional number of delegates going into the uh, going into our convention. Unpledged delegates exist really to make sure that party leaders and elected officials don't have to be in a position where they are running against grassroots activists. Our, we are, <laughs> at, as a Democratic Party, really highlight and emphasize inclusiveness and diversity at our convention, and so we want to give every opportunity to grassroots activists and diverse, committed Democrats to be able to participate, attend, and be a delegate at the convention. And so we separate out those those unpledged delegates to make sure that there isn't competition between them. I'm right. Not we sure want to be as inclusive and diverse as humanly possible, but only when it comes to those pledged delegates. And we're going to separate out a whole bunch of un unpledged delegates so that we can keep out the grassroots act activists and basically limit this to establishment Democrats supporting establishment Democrats, no matter what the turnout of the election is. Mm -hmm. It's a shocking admission, Lewis, though it is precisely correct. We have the superdelegate system and the system is uh, de facto Rigged. protecting the party establishment. This is by definition anti-democratic. It is anti-democratic in that you have certain political positions which get you a vote in this nomination process that is not in any way tied to the actual election results, which is how democracy is done, people voting. Yes. And I don't think she was even thinking about it when no. she said this. I think she just um, she understands what these superdelegates are, why they exist. And she probably wasn't thinking about the context of this election. Right. Um, and so, well, I guess it didn't stop Bernie, did it? It didn't stop Bernie, at least uh, not in New Hampshire. And we will talk about what's going on in Nevada coming up. But stunning, stunning admission. I don't even think she realizes it is an admission. But it is an admission by Debbie Wasserman Schultz. We'll take a break. What a show we have for you today. Warby Parker is offering a free five day home try on to give you the opportunity to check out their glasses. I personally wear Warby Parker glasses when I'm not wearing my contact lenses. And I also started with one of these free at home try ons of five pairs of glasses. You can get your free home try on and support the David Pakman show at Warby Parker trial dot com slash TDPS. I don't really like going into glasses stores and trying on glasses while the salesperson sort of hovers over me. And I like more than 30 seconds to actually figure out whether I like the glasses. So with the Warby Parker home try on, I was able to pick five pairs that I liked, put them on in the comfort of my own home, pick the one I like the most, and then Warby Parker put my prescription lenses in there for me. A lot of people don't know that the eyeglass industry is controlled by just a few big corporations that keep prices very high, like $300 for prescription glasses high, which is just insane. Warby Parker glasses start at $95. That's what mine cost. And for every pair of glasses sold, Warby Parker distributes a pair of glasses to someone in need. You can try five pairs and see what you like. Check out the at-home trial and support our show by going to warbyparker.com slash TDPS. It costs nothing. 